Big Mama Asta. But will it be La Vista? Baby. Yelena Astapenko, ranked 22nd on tour. She's trying to get back inside the top 20, but she's taking on someone that currently is. And a lot of people forget that Ludmilla is a top 20 opponent. She's ranked 18th. Now, she's a younger person in this matchup. However, she's more experienced than Yelena Astapenko when it comes to clay. And Ludmilla, she's going to be 25 years old this year. Uh, but look, I don't know. I just feel like her body in terms of age is just a few years older. We're going to see if it can hold up down the stretch for her career. But the reality here is this is a tough match for Yelena Asipenko. Look, I've said it time and time again if you follow the channel. Ludmilla led the tour. Literally, she ranked inside the top 10 in three service categories. She is a good shot maker between the lines now. I do think Yelena Atsipenko is a pretty good shot maker, but I don't think she's more technical than Ludmilla. And the reality here is Ludmilla can match her power. Now, if you want to beat Yelena Atsipenko, you have to take her into deep rallies. You have to pin her deep in the corners and you have to pressure her to make shots. That's right. She wants to go down the line aggressively all the time. Short rally, she plays 100 miles per hour. If you pin her deep with corners and angles, she starts to frustrate. And the way you beat Yelena Asipenko is you get to her first before she gets to you. If she gets to you, then look, it's going to be a short day, like a 6-2 type of set, 6-1, maybe even a donut but the reality here is if you can use angles and make shots she starts to break she starts to melt like the wicked witch of the odds now listen ladies and gentlemen this first set popcorn worthy now i don't play every match but this is a personal play for me lude Milla flirting with the break point can she get it done we're going to see, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you don't see Ludmilla. Oh, she did the splits here. Did you guys see this? She is very athletic. And look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Hand-eye coordination. She is focused. She's ready to pounce on those balls. Look, did you guys see that match with Iga and Ludmilla last year at Stuger? That was amazing. But what's even more funny is Iga did an interview talking about Ludmilla and she threw some shade at her. She's like, oh, they, the question, someone asked her, did, did, is she familiar with Ludmilla? And Iga said something like, um, oh, yeah, I know her from juniors. Um, yeah, but, but I mean, she's older. So, I mean, I don't really know her like that. It, it was just funny. <laughs> how You know how Iga answers questions and then she says something and then she has to dance around what she said and come back and address it and clean it up a little bit. You, if you watch Iga's interview, you kind of know what I'm trying to say, but it, that was just funny. She she threw a little bit of shade at Ludmilla, but nonetheless, this match is entertaining. This potentially has the makings for the best match of the day. Actually, no, I'm not going to say it. I think Coco and Badosa is going to be the best match of the day. I'm your host, Good Energy. Show some love, like the video, like the channel, hit the super thanks. Ludmilla gets to break. Uh-oh. Big Mama Asta's in trouble.